so I want to talk about uh, releasing repressed anger because it was an experience I had yesterday and it's come up a couple of times and I feel like there's skillful ways to work through repressed anger and I guess I just maybe wanted to share some techniques and things that I use that can help people that struggle with anger. <laughs> it's a funny thing, right? When you have repressed anger, your mind will immediately say, I don't feel anger, right? And that's a great <laughs> indicator that you, that you struggle with repressed anger. So feel into that for yourself, maybe. If when I talk about anger, a part of you feels resistant towards the topic, or you have this identity of like, oh, that's, that's not me. I'm not an angry person. I'm a very chilled, nice person who doesn't get angry at people. Because anger is a really important emotion. It's, it's actually a beautiful emotion. It's a boundary emotion. It's, a, it's an emotion that's there to put you first. But we have this kind of perception of anger as, and understandably so, it's a very intense emotion and we have to learn skillful ways to let it out, right? You know, violently beating up another human being is not a skillful way to work through anger. And we realized this as humans, but then we took it to the extremes, maybe, and specifically people that are quite empathic and aware of other people learn to repress their anger because you don't want to harm another human being maybe so then when you feel anger part of you says no anger is dangerous anger is bad I'm not allowed to feel anger maybe you picked it up from your parents or your caregivers or kind of the people you looked up to as you were growing up that when you felt anger people told you that's wrong don't do don't act on it and it's understandable right like Again, we needed to learn that, you know, when Jimmy steals your toy car, don't punch him in the face. But we do need a healthy outlet for these emotions because I think repressed anger is one of the biggest drivers of kind of chronic illness, chronic fatigue syndrome, chronic pain, chronic nervous system related issues. Most of the people that I've worked with, the large majority, are specifically the type that are very the ones that would repress their anger, right? They would have that identity as I don't get angry. As you go down this awakening path, which is what I talk about as you kind of open up to parts of yourself that have been repressed and the process deepens, you might be quite shocked <laughs> at some of the intense energies and emotions that move through your system. And life triggers will help you to get in touch with this, but sometimes you will start to understand why people do horrific things. From my, my own experience yesterday, I kind of felt a bit strange throughout the day and then some trigger in my life and then the next thing I felt this very intense energy and I allowed myself to fully go into that. I put on some very intense uh, angry music and really wanted to explore this energy, right? So this is kind of what I wanted to share today is healthy ways to let your anger come out. And then I just kind of used, moved my body in ways that felt in line with the energy, right? So, you know, if you think of anger, you want to smash things, you want to punch a wall, you want to rip things to shreds. Obviously that didn't seem like a good idea. So <laughs> I just kind of danced around my apartment and punched the air and you know danced pretty extremely there's there's no this is the thing when you're working with energies and emotions there's no like right way to move the body it's just feeling what does this feel like you know and anger for me felt like I wanted to scream I wanted to do things and obviously you want to find ways that are not going to concern human rings of human beings around you so you know I didn't scream at the top of the, my lungs in a shed of like apartment block but I did allow myself to move with this energy right to get in touch with it right I listened to some very I just <laughs> searched for rage music on Spotify and I felt into the emotion of the person singing right someone they were screaming in their song and I felt into that and I you can feel this energy and you can even have a reverence for it 
to be honest. It's quite incredible to not be afraid of these energies, right? When you, you allow it to have a space to flow through you, this kind of rage, hatred even. It's this intense energy and it, when you open up more, you open up a space for these kind of experiences. And it also gives you an empathic understanding for human beings that do horrific things to other human beings. You can see that they clearly have this energy in them. They have this emotion stuck in them and it's, it's a hurt, traumatized emotion that, that was not given a healthy outlet, right? And the more and more it was repressed, you know, this is when people go and shoot up schools and, you know, let this, because that's what that energy feels like. It feels like this harsh energy that just wants to burn down the world. And it sounds quite intense and scary and weird, but as I said, it's quite beautiful when you can hold this energy and not be afraid of it, right? It's even more beautiful because you know that somebody needs to be able to give this energy an outlet without doing these horrific things to other human beings. Because I can feel that's the flavor of that energy, but the last thing I would ever want to do is hurt another human being. It would probably be, I mean, I can't even fucking kill a cockroach. The only, <laughs> the only, the only animal I sometimes kill is a mosquito because they're not too kind to me. But even that, <laughs> sometimes feel pretty bad about. So that's the beautiful thing, right? Your mind might say it's dangerous to feel into these these energies you're going to do bad things it's going to overtake you you're going to become a bad person but this is all the repression this is all the resistance and this is actually what happens is that kind of resistance turns these energies into repression and then they they find an unhealthy outlet right somebody that represses a lot of anger then maybe actually acts out on that anger in unhealthy ways so truly giving yourself to a space to explore these energies and you can't force them to come up but you can you can be aware of maybe i do have repressed anger and then just feeling into you know because often for me i think this type of empathic person i i can't speak for others but your natural response is if somebody does something that upsets you is to say like oh you know it's okay i understand where they're coming from and that's good, right? I feel like that's healthy for healthy, harmonious relationships. But then exploring in your own space, is there, is there a part of you that's actually angry about what happened? And you don't even need to tell the other person, maybe, but you do just need to give yourself that outlet of, this is a part of me. This is something in my experience that it's actually healthy for me to acknowledge. And then, like I said, find use movement specifically these intense energies like anger rage hatred they actually want to uh, they have a very strong physical component to them you know it's a very physical energy this is why i like going to the gym sometimes is i also feel like that opens up the doorway sometimes is if i go to the gym and i really push quite hard i'll maybe feel a bit drained for a couple of days but i'll also that's kind of what happened is i had a Quite intense gym session the other day and the next day I was feeling these emotions coming through and you just realize that you're kind of opening up these you could call it like energetic doorways or I don't know whatever resonates but yeah I just feel like it's an important topic because often your mind will tell you that there's something wrong with you you're a bad person you'll be quite afraid of your own anger if that makes sense and I just wanted to share this that there's nothing wrong with feeling anger it's actually a very healthy part of the awakening process I mean, Angelo DeLulo, who's often been my favorite guide through all of this, has spoken about this before. And it's funny, my initial interpretation was, I'm not an angry person. I don't have repressed anger. And again, that's that's the telltale sign that you do. <laughs> and as you just go deeper with this process, you follow your intuition, again, life will open up the doors. And it's been uh, interesting for me to see that, you know, as I've explored with meditation, life triggers, psychedelics, these are the kind of things that often open up the repressed emotional material. And then all of a sudden, you'll maybe be surprised of <laughs> what, what you're actually feeling when you're not living in your mind of what you should be feeling or what you normally feel. Like, what is your identity as I'm a, I'm a calm person? You, you, you will actually have bits and pieces of all these kind of emotions. So 
yeah, it's okay if you experience anger and just explore outlets to release it. Like like movement, like music. I love music. Um, if I'm feeling deep grief, sometimes I put on some grief music, and that again, I just try to try to feel into the emotion of the the person that's singing because they're touching into that space as well. So I I find that a nice way to work through emotions, and sometimes I just sit with it, and then often afterwards there's just an exhaustion. That's what I found is like after working through this anger yesterday, there was just like a the body was absolutely exhausted and um, I think it's a lot energetically it's a lot moving through so that's how this process goes right it's a lot moving through your nervous system so don't get too caught up on what state you're in and what you're feeling you know just kind of rest when you need to open up when you need to and uh, see where it goes yeah nice nice background here in Germany alrighty all the best, everyone.